Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking the Classics. I'm Pierce Oshie, I'm a freshman at the University of Delaware, and I'm a health and behavior science major with a linguistics minor. Today we're going to be making buttermilk biscuits, but not just any buttermilk biscuits. The grand dame of Southern cooking herself, Edna Lewis's buttermilk biscuits. And while we do that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her and her life. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Now that our oven's preheating, I'm going to go over the ingredients. You need three cups of all-purpose flour, royal baking powder, and if you don't have royal baking powder, you can use two tablespoons of cream of tartar, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and one tablespoon of baking soda. You need a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, two thirds a cup of butter, and one cup and two tablespoons of butter. Now we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients and our butter to the bowl. Now that our butter and our dry ingredients are in the mixing bowl, we're gonna mix them together. Edna Lewis was born on April 13th, 1916 in Freetown, Virginia. She started cooking at an early age, helping out with her large family. Lewis was one of eight children. By the age of 18, both of Lewis's parents had passed away and she had moved to New York. Now that our mix resembles cornmeal, we're gonna add in our buttermilk and we're gonna start with a wooden spoon. The dough itself is gonna be really soft, but after two to three minutes, it should start to stiffen. Just keep stirring. It was in New York where Lewis met Jack Nicholson who was an antique dealer and an entrepreneur. Nicholson had a new venture called Cafe Nicholson, where Lewis was the first and only chef. The restaurant was known as the place to be and frequently visited by several celebrities, such as Marlon Brando and Eleanor Roosevelt. Now that our dough is stiffened, I'm gonna lightly dust the surface in flour and we're gonna knead the dough for it. A few years later, she left the restaurant and after breaking her leg, she wrote her first of four cookbooks. Then, Lewis started making her way back down towards the south and working as a chef in the Farrington House Restaurant in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Middleton Place Restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina. Later on, she moved back up to Brooklyn, New York, and worked in her last restaurant, Gage and Tolner. Lewis has received several awards, such as Acknowledgements in Cook's Magazine, two IACP Awards, two James Beard Awards, and one nomination, a Barbara Trump President's Award, a Lifetime Achievement Award from Southern Foodways Alliance, and the title of Grand Dame from Les Dames d'Escoffet. Okay, so what you just saw was me kneading the dough for a minute, and then I rolled out the dough to a half an inch thick, and then poked it several times with a fork, and then I cut the dough with a biscuit cutter or a wine glass, or any circle shape that you have. And I placed it on a non-stick baking sheet and I'm going to put it in the oven at 450 degrees for 13 minutes. So I just took my biscuits out of the oven and they're nice and golden brown. And now I'm going to let them sit here for three to four minutes until they're ready to be eaten. 